I know many of you don't enjoy studying grammar, but in this video, I'm going to make it easier for you. I'm going to help you understand how to use passive voice. In passive sentences, the subject of the sentence has something done to it, or it's affected by the action of the verb. For example, the thief was arrested last night. The opposite is an active sentence, where the subject of the sentence performs the action, as in, the police arrested the thief last night. When do we use the passive voice? The main reason for using passive verbs is to focus attention on the object rather than the subject of a sentence. For example, until the 1960s, pandas were hunted for their skins. In this passive sentence, we consider the pandas to be more important than the hunters. We may also use passive rather than active verbs to make a sentence sound more formal or impersonal. For instance, pandas were originally found in several parts of Asia. Passive sentences do not have to mention who or what is performing the action, otherwise known as the agent. If they do, the agent is introduced with the word by. The thief was arrested last night by the police. We don't need to mention the agent if. We don't know who the agent is. For instance, my car has been stolen. It was stolen by an unknown thief. Obviously, I don't know who it was if it is obvious who the agent is. So, anyone who is caught hunting is severely punished. Judges and the law punish people who have done something wrong. And third, it is not important who the agent is. For instance, panda sanctuaries have been set up in China. When forming a passive sentence, we rely on its tense, so you should consider revising the tenses that we discussed in previous units. The present simple passive is formed by an object plus am, is, are, plus the past participle form of a verb. So the example would be, the competition is held every year. The past simple passive is formed by an object plus was or were, plus the past participle form of the verb. As in, many important things were invented in the 20th century. The future simple passive is formed by an object plus a model plus verb to be and a past participle form of the verb. As in, the project will be completed before the deadline. The present continuous passive is formed by an object plus am, is or are plus being and the past participle form of the verb, as in, the festival is being planned by the committee. The past continuous passive is formed by an object plus was or were and being plus the past participle form of the verb. Example, the students were being tested on their grammar. The future continuous passive is formed by an object plus will be, plus being, and the past participle form of a verb. As in, I can't come tomorrow, I will be being interviewed for a job. The present perfect passive is formed by an object, plus has or have, plus been, and the past participle form of the verb. Example, the school has been renovated recently. The past perfect passive is formed by an object plus had been plus the past participle form of the verb. Example, when you finished your homework, the cake had been eaten. The future perfect passive is formed by an object plus will have plus been and the past participle form of the verb. Example, by 2025, our public transport system will have been changed. For more information, you can download the PDF file entitled Passive Voice.